Okay, um, thank you Lima for the invitation today to talk about uh, pathogenic variants in the cold TA1 uh, gene. Um, I'm a clinical geneticist from the Rasmus Medical Center. Um, and I'd like to start with the basics on the genetics of vascular EDS. So uh, most commonly pathogenic variants in the cold TA1 gene are found in vascular EDS patients and occasionally uh, specific variants in the cold 1A1 gene are found. The gene is located on chromosome 2. Um, this is a schematic representation of chromosome 2 and on the long arm in band 32.2 the cold 3A1 gene is located. Um, it's an autosomal dominant condition and most commonly um, uh, in about 50% of cases de novo variants are found and there's a lack of family history. The gene consists of 51 exons and there's a Oh, and this is an explanation on the uh, normal type 3 uh, collagen formation. Um, if you have, you have two copies of the uh, cold TA1 gene, and each of these copy encodes for the pro alpha 1 chain of pro collagen type 3. Three of these chains come together to form the collagen 1 uh, molecule. And here's a more uh, detailed representation. So you see that each of this alpha-1 chain consists of um, a motif uh, that's formed by three amino acids. The first one is usually a glycine and then an XNNI amino acid, um, quite often a proline or a hydroxyproline on the XNI position. And these glycines form this triple uh, helix. Um, there's an N-terminal end and a C-terminal end. And, um, this pro-collagen molecule is processed in the extracellular part of the cell. Uh, enzymes cut off the N-terminal and T-terminal domain. And then this pro-collagen fibril, um, they form cross-links with other collagen uh, molecules. And this forms this really uh, strong um, uh, fibril um, collagen uh, that gives strength to the uh, uh, tissues, especially the tissues of hollow organs like the vessels and the bowel and the uterus. Well, how do we detect these cold TA1 variants? Um, we can do gene-targeted testing by performing a single gene testing or multi-gene panel testing. Um, in these multi-gene panels, uh, the cold TA1 genes represented, but also other genes that are in the differential diagnosis of vascular EDS and um, um, uh, it's nice to do targeted testing because you don't find variants, uh, pathogenic variants in gene unrelated to the disease. Um, so if patients have really specific features then we can do the gene targeted testing. Some patients have more a more broad phenotype uh, that looks like other um, uh, connective tissue disorders and then um, uh, often whole exome sequencing is performed and um, we can detect the variants in the cold TA1 gene using this technique and it's, it's used more often um, these days. We have to be aware that in about 1% we found intragenic deletions or duplications and in uh, these cases we have, to, so if you don't find a variant in the cold TA1 gene you have to perform um, uh, a technique to look for these uh, deletions, duplications, for example, MLPA. 